Hi, Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Exeter, and this is Garage Talk. There are dates in your life, three dates actually. There's the date you take your wife out on, or your girlfriend, guys. And then there's the date that you eat, which I don't particularly care for. And then there's dates on the calendar. Three. Three reminds me of a story I heard recently. Guys were going down the road, country road. Chicken runs up beside him. He's going 45 miles an hour. He looks at this chicken. Wow, that's amazing. Then he looks a little closer. This chicken has three legs. And he says, that's wow. So he speeds up. That chicken stays right with him. And so he didn't know what to do. And next thing you know, he looks over and the chicken's gone. Out, just outruns him. And he runs down into this farmhouse and he puts the brakes right on. He pulls into with this farmer's house. And he says, wow, I got to check out this chicken. And so he doesn't see anywhere, but he, he's, the farmer's out on his front porch. And, and he says to the guy, he says, hey, he says, did, did you see a chicken run by? And the farmer says, yeah, that, that was my chicken. He says, wow. He says, he says, I think that chicken had three legs. And he said, yeah. Yeah, that was it. He said, a while ago, he says, we started breeding these three-legged chickens. He said, I like the drumstick, my wife likes the drumstick, and then we got Junior now, Junior likes the drumstick, so you got these three-legged chickens. The guy says, that's amazing. He says, how do they taste? He says, well, he says, I don't know. I've never been able to catch one. <laughs> <laughs> the dates on the calendar or the numbers on your vehicle, all numbers, dates, are very important now because if you want something, say if you call up and say, I got a Ford and I want a right front tie rod in, they would say, huh? Because there's makes, there's models, there's years. Nowadays, they want the VIN number and they'll say to you, if you talk to the parts store, you got the last six on the VIN or the last eight on the VIN. All our trucks we used to run for the oil company, they'd say always, don't even bother to dial the phone if you don't know the last eight numbers on your VIN number. Numbers are big. Dates are big. February, famous people born in February. George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Stan Griffin, moi, who knew. And so it just so happens that today is my birthday. February 23rd. Write that down. It's a date you'll not want to forget. And so I am a legend in my own mind, of course, but God's been very good to me. And so whenever you think about dates or things like that, a lot of times we try to ignore our birthdays. I try that hard. Nobody seems to want to let me forget. But I'm 59 years old today, born in 1962. It's a good year, I guess. But I mention all that because this is garage talk and all of us know the date of our vehicle and, and uh, all of us know what year we were born and sometimes we're happy about that and sometimes we're not. But there's also another very important date in everyone's life. There was a time where a guy went to Jesus and he said, I know that you're an incredible teacher. He said, I, we can even tell that you've come from God. He said, and he wanted to know how he could know if he could have eternal life. And Jesus said to him, except a man be born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And that guy was shocked. He said, oh, how does that work? He said, can, can I enter the second time into my mother's womb and be born, born again? And Jesus said, no, 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 no. And he, but, and he went on to explain to him that process of a new birth. And so you were born on that date. But extremely important is the date where you were born again, born twice. And so we say that I, I was born again at four years old. My mom told me that I needed to accept Jesus and my sister prayed with me when I was on the couch in our house on the Griffin Road. And so I've got two dates, the date I was physically born and the date where I was born again. And that's when I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. 
Now, I know this is garage talk, and I know that we're supposed to be talking about cars, and of course we will again. But more important than the car you drive, or how old your vehicle is, is how old you are in Christ. And my question to you is obviously you've been born because you're listening to this. Have you been born again? You know, Jesus Christ is your personal Savior. This isn't entertaining, but it's life-changing. And I hope that you have. And it's as simple as saying, Lord Jesus, come into my heart and be my Savior and forgive my sins. It is the greatest thing I've ever done. Now, my wife might argue that it, the greatest thing was marrying her. And that we could talk about that when we go out on a date. But she will admit, because she's done it too, that knowing Christ as your personal Savior is the greatest choice you could ever make. Man, I love being a Christian. Thanks for watching. Hope you've made that choice. See you in church on Sunday, I hope.